the biggest problem that students face is now we don't know where to start the syllabus from right so if you're also stuck in that loop i am here to help you and today we are going to see the top 12 chapters of chemistry physical inorganic and organic chemistry beta i am going to talk about completely completely logically so beta you can see here to get 160 marks right you have to get 40 questions right that means if you want to get around 150 marks 35 questions should be right so around 140 to 160 marks you can get from these 12 chapters that I am going to tell you and start your preparation from these 12 chapters. Right, so let us talk about the first thing that is physical chemistry. So beta, from physical chemistry, the priority based chapters from where the questions are asked most frequently, a structure of atom, three questions around, then beta equilibrium, you will see around three to four questions, especially from ionic equilibrium, the pH questions and there is salt hydrolysis, right? All these things are very, very important. Then beta, when we talk about redox reactions and electrochemistry, I'll take it up as one chapter only. Beta, here you can get around four to five questions, right? So but you definitely there will be a question based on Nernst equation, balancing of, of equation or to identify that whether it's a redox reaction or a not a redox reaction. So right, these kind of simple questions will be there in your NEET exam. Then beta, if you talk about thermodynamics, right, around three questions you can expect from thermodynamics and beta from chemical kinetics, why chemical kinetics I have taken here? Because this is a very small chapter, right, very easy, very small chapter and yet three questions you can expect from this chapter. So these are the most important topics, most important chapters from your physical chemistry that you must, must, must do in detail. Right? It, it should be like you should not even skip one topic from these chapters. Right? Then beta there is inorganic chemistry. Very very important are two chapters that is chemical bonding and coordination chemistry. From chemical bonding beta and P block. Why I have included chemical bonding and P block here? Reason. Because in chemical bonding, the structures of P block will be asked to you in the chemical bonding itself. Right. So a collaboration of these two chapters you will see in your syllabus. Right. So that is chemical bonding in P block. Together you can see only structures, P block structures I am talking about. You will see around four questions based on this and the theories questions. Right. Then beta, if you talk about coordination compounds and DNF block, why I have included this together? Because if you know coordination compound, right, then beta D block, DNF block is related to the coordination chemistry only, right. So if you do these two chapters together, they will give you around six, six questions very, very easily, very easily. Then beta, you are left with the block chemistry exceptions, right. After doing the structures from the P block, DNF block and coordination chemistry, beta, you must do the exceptions of block chemistry. Here beta around three questions you will expect directly from the exceptions of P block and D block. Very, very important. Right. Then bacha next is organic chemistry. As you all know from organic chemistry, GOC general organic chemistry is the base of organic chemistry. That includes IUPSC naming, GOC, electromeric effect like electron displacement effect. And then there beta we have isomerism also. Right. So these three topics in GOC are very important. Without GOC, you won't be able to understand the rest of the organic chemistry, right? Then beta, if you talk about the chapters in your 12th class, the so most important chapters are aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acid and alcohols and phenols, right? So most probably you will see around six questions from these oxygen containing compounds. And in your neat syllabus also it is mentioned as oxygen containing compounds. So the mechanisms, the naming reactions, the distinguished test, a full organic chemistry is very important for you, very important, right? Then beta, there comes hydrocarbons. So from hydrocarbons again, beta, this is a very important chapter from your 11th class chemistry, right? So you must do this chapter because from here, simple questions because you know, this hydrocarbon, you will see the reaction will repeat itself in other chapters like haloalkanes, haloalkanes, you will see so many uh, reactions that will re repeat itself again and again. Right, so that is why this becomes very important because this is the initial chapter of all the functional groups. Right, so if you do all these chapters, you can save around 140 to 150 marks easily. Right, but the condition is you should do these chapters religiously. That you means that 
there should not be even one topic that you should skip from these chapters now beta if you want to know that ma'am we want to know the chemistry full from full chemistry you want to know the top topics the most priority based topics not chapters i'm talking about topics from each chapter if you want to know that then write it down in the chat box i will make a video on that as well where i will tell you the top topics that you should never ever miss in chemistry neat exam right okay you should write it down in the comment section and one more thing beta always remember in your life maybe in the start you will find it difficult maybe first day you will find it difficult ma'am i don't know how to start this the first step will be very big but beta after that steps the jump is going to be short short and the journey is going to be really 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 smooth so always remember just start even if it is difficult even if it is boring even if it is monotonous just start your journey with these chapters and i promise you you are going to totally fall in love with chemistry and beta i am conducting i am taking sessions for organic chemistry here i have just started organic chemistry so you can start your organic chemistry along with me on the youtube channel right that is uh, vidantu neat english itself right so i have started goc here right two only two lectures i have taken till now for inductive and resonance right rest of we are left with right so let's start the journey of organic chemistry with me and beta for inorganic chemistry i'm taking up ncert line by line right so you can see the full series there and also i will take up physical chemistry you can watch my full lectures on youtube and if you want to get enrolled to any batch there is dna batch beta where syllabus is going on and students are completely loving it now beta if you are thinking that okay ma'am my concepts are already clear but i want to practice more right so what you do firstly do you watch our youtube series right then beta next thing what you do you see this you uh, buy these test series here right because practice is not it's not like i will solve the question you will be like okay ma'am is solving i am just watching them so i'll be able to solve those questions in the exam no so to solve the questions you have to do the practice for practice you need to have quality questions right so we are providing you 25 total test that include seven full syllabus test 12 part test six subject wise test right so beta the video solutions will be given to you by your own teachers that is an excellent thing for you right so don't wait now just go and purchase that the link is in the description and you are totally going to love these 25 year long test series right okay bachcha so thank you so much if you want the most important topics for chemistry neat 2025 write down it in the chat box in the comment section thank you so much jai hind bye bye